Hi everybody. So my daughter Hunter and I are going to VidCon 2013 this week and I thought it would be fun to try and build an over-the-shoulder camera rig to wear around VidCon just like Griffin Hammond from Indie Mogul wore at the South by Southwest Film Festival this year. So here's how I built it. So I'm going to use his plans as the basic design, but I'm going to modify it a little to fit inside my own backpack. I'm going to use this old hydration pack. What's nice about it is it has a hole right up through the center already. Instead of where Indie Mogul uses a T-joint, I'm going to use this cross. To do this project, I got a couple of short lengths of half-inch PVC, a T-cross, two 45-degree angles, and a closed-end cap. Some rubber washers, some 3 quarter inch quarter 20 bolts, my GoPro with the tripod mount. The tools I'm going to use are a pencil for marking the cuts, a measuring tape, and a PVC cutter. You can cut PVC with just about anything, a saw, a Dremel tool, a circular pipe cutter. But if you're going to be doing a lot of work with PVC, this is the best tool to have. It makes nice, clean, easy cuts without making a mess. The first thing I'm going to do is drill a hole in the end of the end cap. To do this, I'm going to use my drill with a quarter inch bit. I'll hold the end cap with a pair of slip lock pliers so it doesn't spin around and simply drill a hole through the end of the end cap, centering it the best you can. To make our camera mount, we'll need the PVC cap that we just drilled, one 3 quarter inch quarter 20 bolt, a quarter 20 nut, and a rubber washer. When I put the bolt through the end cap, it sticks through too far and bottoms out in the GoPro tripod mount. What I need to do is add the nut onto the bolt and screw it all the way down to the end and then insert it through the plastic end cap. That leaves just the right amount to add the rubber washer so it won't slip and tighten it against the tripod mount. When I do this, I've found that the tripod mount twists a little on the bolt in the PVC. So in order to fix that, I'm going to glue the bolt into the PVC pipe. So to permanently affix the bolt in the PVC end cap, I'm going to use some JB Weld. Any epoxy will do. Just mix up equal parts, and when it's all mixed, put it into the end of the end cap, and then insert your bolt. Once your bolt's all seated, make sure you wipe off any glue that's on the threads. Also wipe off any of the inside of the PVC cap otherwise it will be too tight to fit on the pipe. Now the bolt is glued in the end of the pipe and won't rotate freely. To make the main frame of the rig, we'll have to cut a few pieces of PVC. The first piece is seven and a half inches. This is where the ratcheting pipe cutters are super handy. 
They couldn't make the job any easier. That first piece fits right into the end of our camera mount. And one of the 45 degree angle pieces fits right on the other end. The next piece is seven inches long. Attach it on the end of the piece we've been working on, right at the 45 degree. And then on the other side of that pipe, attach the next 45 degree angle. Next, we need a one inch piece to add as a link between the 45 degree angle and the cross piece. The next pieces you'll want to size based on the backpack that you're using. So I'm just going to put the cross piece into place and then measure by eye the length of tubing down the center of the backpack. Once it's cut and in place, I'll measure and cut a side stabilizer for each side of the cross. The next thing I did is take the entire frame apart and spray paint the pieces black. I think it just makes it look a little bit more professional. If you're going to spray paint PVC, remember to use paint for plastics. Otherwise, it'll all fall off and it'll be a mess. First, the main long piece that goes in the backpack fits into the T. Everything's a much tighter fit now that it's painted. We'll put a cross piece stabilizer on either side of the cross the small spacer, then the first 45 degree angle, next the shorter of the two pieces of pipe, and another 45 degree angle, then the remaining piece of pipe, and to top it off I mounted the cap with the quarter 20 bolt into my GoPro housing. and then it mounts right on the end of the last pipe. An additional thing I did is provide a backpack power supply so I could run my GoPro all day. A standard USB cable out of the USB port and I drilled a hole here in the pipe and ran the USB cable all the way down the pipe into the backpack. and out one of the stabilizing arms into a portable USB power supply. This is an 8,000 milliamp battery and will power the GoPro all day. So one of the interesting things about a rig like this, as opposed to the standard head mounted GoPro camera, is that the back of my head is always in the shot. So as I move around, there's always a steady portion of the frame for the viewer's eyes to lock onto. And that way, the motion is smoothed out. And it makes for much more pleasing viewing experience. If you want to see our example video from VidCon, click here and watch my daughter Hunter's Beauty Buddy channel for her VidCon video. Oh, and if you liked this video, go ahead and click here to subscribe.
Go ahead. Click. You can do it.